Mr. Harris here and welcome to a new video of chapter 10. In this video, or in the coming few videos, we'll be talking about the defects of the eye. Some problems that we may have with the eye. One of the most common or the two most common defects are being short-sighted and long-sighted. So how many of us are actually so short-sighted or long-sighted? That would really depend. I cannot do a vote right now. But I believe most of us are short-sighted because this deals with people or students that have, they can see clearly on short distances. For short distances, they have no problem. But this is for people that cannot see far away objects clearly. So I'll just put across to show that short-sightedness is for people that cannot see far away objects clearly. However, of course, there are some that are long-sighted. So that is also quite common. So as I mentioned earlier, the two most common type of eye defects are short sight and long sight. People with short sight, they can see near objects clearly, as the name suggests. So because it's short sight, right? They can only see from short distances. So if you look at the near object over here, the picture of I don't know whether it's tea or coffee. But people with short sight can see it very clearly. However, for distant objects or far away objects, like you have a picture of a bus over here, it'll be a bit blurred out for people with short sight. On the other hand, for people with long sight, they can see distant objects clearly, but not near objects. So have a look at the picture of the tea or coffee. People with long side they can not really see near objects it's a bit blurred out so reading newspapers is also quite difficult however if they're looking at a bus that is coming they can see that it's pretty clear so what exactly are the causes of short sight and long sight and how can they be corrected and of course i believe all of you know that is to wear eyeglasses right or even to wear contact lens but let's see more exactly what are the causes and what type of lens are they wearing. So the causes of short sight, first off, it could be either the lens being too thick, the eyeball being too long, or even both. So there could be three possibilities. This is the first possibility, lens being too thick. The second possibility, the eyeball being too long. Or the third possibility is that it's both of them. So what exactly does it look like for people with short sight? The images of distant objects are actually formed in front of the retina. And that is the reason why they cannot see distant objects clearly. And you may ask, Mr. Harris, what do you mean by forming in front of the retina? Now let's look at the diagram and you'll understand better. So here's a diagram of a person with short sight looking at a distant object. Now, earlier in the previous view videos, I've told you that we need to exaggerate the distance. So we'll be usually exaggerating by saying that these light rays, they're coming from a far away object, hence why we draw two lines, okay? And then usually the image that is formed should be on the retina, right? But in this case, it is forming in front of the retina. And that is why we're seeing a blurred image. Okay. So in order to rectify this, in order to correct this, we, we would want to form the image. Where should we form the image? We want the image to be formed on the retina instead. So to do that, we need to wear a special type of lens, a corrective lens, which is called the concave lens, the concave lens. And you will see now that the image is formed on the retina right now. So the sharp image is formed on the retina. In the previous slide, you'll notice that it's in front, but right now after wearing these glasses, uh, these lens, the image is now formed on the retina, okay? So the concave lens, people with short sight, they would need to wear concave lens. On the other hand, let's talk about long sight now. People with long sight, either their lens are too thin, 
That's the first possibility. The second possibility is the eyeball is too short. Okay. And the third possibility is you're having both of them at the same time. So let's see. The images at this time of distant objects. Actually, this should be the images of near objects are formed behind the retina this time. And that is why you cannot see near objects clearly. So let's have a look. So as I've told you earlier, this time because it is a near object, so we'll be having the object very nearby. So you do not need to draw two lines. Right now you just have one point over here and you're drawing two lines. This time for people with long sight, the image is formed behind the retina. Okay, so it's a bit different from short sight. For short sightedness, the image was formed in front of the retina, but for long sight, it is formed behind the retina. Okay, so a bit different. So how are we supposed to rectify this or correct this? You can correct this by wearing a convex lens. Okay, the name is different. This time we're wearing a convex lens. Okay. Because we're wearing this lens, the image now is formed on the retina rather than behind the retina. So everything is all good now. We can see the image clearly without being blurred. Okay. So I also want you to focus on one thing. Because long-sightedness, the lens are too thin, right? You can see the image is trying to show us that the lens is too thin over here. And if we go to short sightedness, let me go up. It mentioned to us that, let me use a different color, the lens were too thick, right? So the image is trying to show us the lens are too thick over here. Okay, so you can also notice the diagrams that they're using in the textbook. They're trying to show us that the eyeballs are too long or too thick. You can also need to pay you also need to pay attention to these small hints that they're giving you. All right. So let us summarize what we have learned so far. For people with short sightedness, they can see near objects clearly, but they're not able to see far away or distant objects. For people with long sight, long sightedness, they're able to see distant objects clearly, but they're not able to see near objects. So let's see how we could rectify and the causes of these two eye defects. So first off, for short sightedness, the lens are too thick or the eyeballs are too long. Hence why the image is formed in front of the retina. On the other hand, for long sightedness or long sight, the lens are too thin or the eyeball is too short, hence why the image is formed behind the retina. Okay, and let's see how we could correct it. So for short-sightedness, we could wear a concave lens, concave. On the other hand, for long-sightedness or long sight, we could wear a convex lens. Okay, so most of us in our eyeglasses, we're wearing the concave lens, as I mentioned earlier, most of us are having short sightedness. But however, some of us are actually also having long sightedness. So we also need to wear convex lens. All right. So that sums up this video. I'll see you guys in the next video when we'll talk about some other eye defects. All right, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.